Y'all see this alligator right here? You see him? You saw one bigger? That one's bigger? Yeah. I seen some that are huge on this trail, like unbelievably big, man. It's crazy. We need rain though, a lot of them ain't out because the everything's dried up really out here. See that otter over there? He's eating a fish. Like I literally am looking at a, or is that a beaver? That might be a beaver, I'm sorry. I don't know, beaver, otter, shit. I'm still trying to learn all this Florida wildlife. But it's, uh, it's one of the two. He caught himself a fish. I'm like, a closer than you think. This camera doesn't do justice of how close I am to it. Um, and they're just looking at me like, hey, you got any more? So it's kind of cool, man. You come out here and uh, get to see stuff like this. Look, how cool is that, man? Good morning, YouTube back with another video and today I am taking the stump jumper on its first ride on its first trail ride and uh, excited about that today I had a hard time um, deciding on which trail I wanted to hit today I didn't want to do anything too technical because one thing I've learned about buying a new bike and testing it out is that you got to get used to it you got to learn your bike and so I didn't want to get anything um, too crazy and so um, I decided to hit Shingle Creek uh, one, it's the closest trail to my house. Two, um, there's a part of it that I discovered um, that I can access that I, I didn't know I could access. So I'm going to try that section out today. Um, the only thing is, is that it's usually locked. It's a gate that's usually locked and closed when I, when I go on this trail. But one of my subs actually hit me up and said, hey, you can just bypass that gate and go back there. And there's a lot more to it than I thought. So... Uh, I guess I'm gonna take that risk today. I just hope that, you know, whenever I see a gate that's locked or closed, I, I usually just think it's for a reason, whether it's they're doing maintenance on the trail or whether it's wildlife spotted or whether it's um, a tree fell or something. Usually it's, it's locked and closed for a reason. So I've never really bypassed the gate. So I'm gonna see how that uh, turns out today. And other than that, just take it for its first test run and, um, and, uh, and see how it goes. Uh, it's about uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. It's starting to get hot. It's, it was like a good 70 degrees earlier. It was really cool this morning. And now it's getting a little bit hotter. So I uh, kind of got a little bit of a late start than uh, I would like to have. So so we'll see how it goes. I'm rocking the, um, the Troy Lee vest again today. Uh, just in case I actually remember to bring everything this time. Like I got every single piece of equipment uh, today. So I'm... Uh, happy about that because usually I always forget something um, and then uh, we'll we'll see how it goes guys so I would do a final review on my first ride and remember this was the first uh, this was the trail that I took the the epic on the first ride so um, I guess this will be my first ride spot from now on <laughs> so anyway I cut you guys in a few and uh, I'll let you know what I think <music> Thank you. 
Excuse me, guy. Excuse me.
So hold on just for a second. If I don't know anything about these things, crunchy peanut butter. Better find out about them. Anyway. Um, my review, short and simple, bike is awesome, but the biggest plus on that bike, the plushest bike I've ridden so far, that thing is literally, I guess it's the Fox float shot, that thing is like a Cadillac man, it's definitely more comfortable than any other full suspension bike that I test rode or rode or own or whatever the case may be. That thing is comfortable. It absorbs bumps and stumps like nothing. It's awesome. It is a very comfortable ride. Now, the biggest con about the bike. The pedal strike is real. I don't know what's going on. I hit a lot of just basic pedaling pedal strikes and the chip is flipped to high meaning there's a low setting and a high setting from my understanding that raises the bottom bracket a little bit and it's set on high so I, I don't know how I'm going to adjust with that well one thing I know I can adjust to it is by keeping my my feet neutral and centered on the pedals I have a problem with that <clears throat> that I've been working on um, but that forces me to <clears throat> excuse me to stay in a neutral position so I almost have to stay in a neutral position if I don't I'm gonna hit a lot more pedal strikes than normal so I guess it's a good thing in that way because even on this ride I was definitely more aware of where my pedals I mean where my feet were on the pedal and they were a lot more neutral and centered than ever before and so I don't I, you know I don't know that's that's a little scary now it's kind of making me think what size pedals to get whether I should go with with a large or a small because it's, it's already hitting kind of kind of close and so I just got to be very mindful of where my feet are at all times on those pedals other than that that's the only con that I have with the bike but that is a big con though don't get me wrong that's a, a major concern especially um, if I go on more technical trails that trail was not technical at all so that's the scary part about it but other than that man everything else is all pros i have to say the, Sh the shimano slx st combination shifting on that thing is a lot smoother than the sram and i was a sram believer mainly because that's the only thing that i've had on my bikes but now that i have that i'm not just saying it because it's a new bike that drivetrain shifts like absolutely butter it's it's better than the sram gx and of course the nx in my opinion the brakes a better on that bike in my opinion they stop on the drop of a dime and let me think what else uh, trying to think what else is the other biggest pro really that's about it the, the, the drivetrain the brakes and just the shock is absolutely incredible on that bike um, whole different experience so now that I've taken it on something like that I'm ready to take it on something definitely a little bit more difficult on my next go round so that will be happening 
on the next video now that I got a trial run in. Um, I'm just really concerned. I got to do some research on pedal size now because, uh, you know, even on the Epic, I have large pedals on it. And if I go into a turn too tight, you know, I get pedal strike on that because the pedal's a lot bigger than, let's say, the Chester pedals. Those Crank Brothers uh, Stamp 7s, I got a large size in those. So they're a little bit bigger than the uh, Chester pedals. So I may need to stick with a small size pedal. Um, even though the large is more comfortable, I can't afford to get any more, any more pedal strikes than are already happening on that bike. So I just gotta, gotta see how that all plays out, man. Um, see what just happened. I think my battery fell out my pocket. But uh, other than that, man, awesome bike, beautiful day. Uh, I'm happy with the purchase. I'm not complaining at all. No regrets at all. And uh, I think this bike definitely will last me a very, very long time. Um, so yeah, other than that, don't want to hold you guys up. Appreciate you watching. Check you in the next video. Peace.